so I found my tree. I'm super excited. <clears throat> you know the routine with the girls, so they're going to be barking up a storm. I just took them for their walk. Anyway, I went over to Hobby Lobby and I managed to find my tree. Um, they had loads of tickets in the tree, so luckily um, they had plenty to sell. I know they were sold out online. So the tree that I chose is um, it's a seven and a half foot Berkshire flocked Christmas tree. And it was regular, I think, $4.99, and I managed to get it for two. I think it was like $2.45 or $2.50, so I did get it on sale. I love this tree. I've never had a flock tree before, so this is the first year. Last year, my trees were more glammy, and they were all gold. And then as you walk into our house, there's a table that you can see directly into like our living room, and I always put a tree there. So this year, I'm going to add one in the living room, probably one on that same table, and just do one in the front as you walk in, in the rotunda. But I bought some really pretty ornaments, and I got to show you these colors, you guys. They're so, so pretty. So let me grab them so you guys can see. Okay, so let me show you these beautiful color, you guys. They're so pretty. So these are the colors that I picked out this year. Now these are more of the peachy, kind of like, almost like a brick red color. I don't want to say they're 100% peach, but they are in the peach family. This one is my favorite ornament of all. Let me show you how beautiful is this. And I also bought, let me reach over and get these. I also bought these, which are just maroon. So I'm kind of feeling maroon and kind of like, um, I don't even know if these have a name as far as the color. It just says glass ornament. So it really doesn't have the color. I do want to get um, bigger balls. I know that sounds really funny. They didn't have anything in this color family. So I might have to do like a red or um, maybe like an iridescent white. I'm not really 100% sure. I think red would look really pretty. Maybe like a matted red, kind of like this one. Do they have, a, it's kind of like, well actually like these, but red. And if I, or if I can find this color in those large ornaments, that would even be better. And as far as Christmas light, um, it is a pre-lit tree. But you know how it is, it's never enough light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more light and I'm gonna try to find um, something in the peach family. If not, I might do red. So it'd be red and white. I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of hoping that I can find something in the peach family. I don't know if they make anything in that color, but I'm gonna try to find something at Michael's or if not, I'm gonna go back to Hobby Lobby because I didn't really look for light because I have so many of them. Um, last year, my lights were, um, my trees were all gold. It was more of a glammy feel. So right now we are gonna head over to the garage and I'm gonna unbox it and fluff it and get it ready to bring into the house. I've never had a flock tree before, so I don't know the uh, extent of the mess that I'm gonna make. So I would rather be in the garage doing that than having to clean up at like 10 o'clock at night. So let's head over to the garage. So there she is. She looks perfect in that corner. I typically put all my trees in that little corner. Um, last year, like I said, I had three stacked up and then that's where I'm gonna put the other one. So she looks really, really pretty. Excuse the mess, the girls are having their little treat. But yeah, she looks really good and as you can see, 
block trees are pretty messy. It's like all over the garage. So, I mean, I guess it didn't matter if I had done it in here because it's still kind of messy. But it's gonna look so pretty with those colors that I uh, picked out because those are the colors of my pillows and I think it's all gonna tie in nicely with the tree. But I'm gonna have to do this video in parts because I don't have everything ready, so I'll probably be wearing different clothes. But I'm so excited. I can't wait to have her all decorated. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is part two of what I've purchased for holiday, uh, holiday decor 2019. I'm just gonna run through all the stuff that I purchased today at Home Goods. I went in there to buy two table runners and then I walk out with a bunch of different things. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to what I'm talking about. Um, you walk in for one thing and then you walk out with like 15 other things. I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. So this is one of the little trees that I bought. It has like a little uh, potato sack down at the bottom. This one, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, this was only $19.99 at Home Goods. That was one of the items that I purchased, and this is another baby tree. Now I at the entrance, I have a round tray on a table. So I'm gonna add this little baby there, and then maybe put some candles, and I bought a really pretty snow globe to put there as well. It's this one right here. Let me see you down. I feel like it's kind of like, there we go. I also bought this really pretty snow globe that has two little reindeers and it has music, you guys. It's so cute. How adorable is this? This was only $14.99. And the two little reindeers kind of remind me of Coco and Lola. So this one, I'm definitely gonna put in the front along with this little tree here. So let's see, what else did I buy? Oh. I bought a little reindeer. Now this one I have to be careful with because Lola will grab it and probably destroy it. This wreath is everything, you guys. I knew I wanted a pop of color for the entrance of our home. So I ended up buying this beautiful red wreath, you guys. How pretty is this? So I almost put it back because some of these little balls are chipping or like they're peeling. So what I did is I went to Michael's and I bought more picks in the same color. So I'm gonna snip the ones that are peeling off and then I'm just gonna add my own little picks to kind of make up for the ones that are peeling. One of the uh, ladies that I met in line there at Home Goods said if if you store it, once, you, once Christmas is over, you store it, put um, bubble wrap, it should preserve it. But I don't know, like I'm just afraid that it's gonna completely peel. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of like spray that can seal the color in. If not, I'm just gonna have to be buying like the little picks, which I was able to get on sale. I mean, I could probably have made something like this, but I don't have the time or the patience to make something like this. This was only $40. So this one is gonna go like the entrance of our home. It's beautiful. It just gives that really pretty pop of color. So um, I'll probably have to buy like a Christmas mat as well but this is the other item that I purchased and then these babies right here are from Michaels and these are gonna be for my mantle and they're also flopped and these are six foot garlands and I bought two so that gives me 12 so I'm kind of hoping that it gives me enough room to where some of the, um, the garland can hang on the side of our mantle um, I am going to add some LED lights to these, battery operated, um, that way you can just switch them on and off because I don't have like an outlet near our fireplace and it'll look off if I keep act adding like, um, you know, connections. I think that just looks tacky. So I probably will add a little bit more decorations to this and then um, place it over our fireplace. So I bought two of these and these were... $40 and they were half off at Michael's. So I got that and let me show you these beautiful table runners that I bought. I bought this one. I'm thinking of putting this one on a ladder that I have that I put my blankets. It's really pretty. This right here, it just says peace. This right here was only $19.99 and that one is a lot smaller. That one's a 14 by 54. And then this one is going to be for my dining room table. And this one's a little bit longer. This one's a 16 by 72. 
and it has a bunch of little beads with some really pretty Christmas trees. So this one definitely, definitely will be going on my um, dining room table. So I showed you that, I showed you the little tree. Yeah, so that is it. So there might be another part to this. Um, I'm getting close. I'm just gonna start randomly placing some of the stuff of where I want it. I'll probably have to play with it just a little bit because I'm, you know, I'm not entirely sure. But um, I still have to get my picks that are in storage. Um, I have loads of ornaments for this tree. So um, hopefully I don't go crazy buying any more stuff because I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff because I still have stuff from last year. Um, but anyway, those are my purchases from TJ Ma from Home Goods today. So I will see you guys later. This is where I ended up putting the tree with the little reindeer. Let me show you as we walk in. Tree, tree. So I'm gonna have to move all that because I want more Christmas stuff there. I'll probably leave those little um, candle holders there. And see how pretty that looks right there? I just put it on the ladder. Good idea. And I think I'm gonna buy them some Christmas blankies so it can kind of <laughs> go with the vibe of the house. But yes, let me show you the intro. So there is the wreath. I wanted to see how it looks. So it looks so pretty as you walk in. Let me stand back. And right here, I think I'm gonna add, I have two trees, so I'm gonna add one right there and right there, and they just have white. There's Lola. <laughs> There's Lola. Look at my monkeys. Look at these monkeys. Why are you such a monkey? <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so anyway, so that is the front door, and like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna probably add a, um, a little uh, Christmas mat there and then two lit trees right there and I might even I I'm kind of feeling that this would be a good little area to take our Christmas pictures with the monkeys take that out of the way though but anyway so this is the entrance I really love the way the wreath looks you guys how pretty does that look it's just like a pop of color it's like 80 degrees right now you guys here in San Antonio and I'm already decorating but who the heck cares so anyway, so that is kind of the way I've set things up right now. It might change a little bit because I still have to add the lights to um, the garland over the mantel or over the fireplace. So I still have loads to do. Um, I should have just bought the little battery operated lights. I have a bunch of them, but I don't know where they're at. So that kind of so that does it for now. So stay tuned for crazy Lola Bear. So stay tuned for part three of my holiday decor. See you later.